uh, Mr. Sivan, a huge congratulation uh, for, the, for so far the Chandrayaan-3 being successful and uh, separating. The, the lander has finally separated from the rover. Rover now descending down towards the moon. It's looking very positive so far. Oh, it's a very good uh, event. Uh, we are very happy to that uh, see that it is a very critical event that happened smoothly without any hitch. Uh, this one, and uh, uh, now it is a next phase of operations. We will start to for landing. This one. So, you know, so far we are seeing all the bright side that uh, it's managed to complete the fifth successful maneuver around the moon. And now it's going to be descending towards the moon. It's going to be touching the, uh, the surface of uh, the moon in about five days time. But if you can see, uh, Mr. Sevan, you've been the former uh, uh, chief of ISRO. You've known exactly what the is issue was with Chandrayaan 2 was. With Chandrayaan 3 as per challenges, do you see anything or so far it's been a smooth ride? Uh, actually, that is uh, whatever uh, that uh, mistake happened in the Chandrayaan 2 have been corrected in Chandrayaan 3. Mm -hmm. Also, that additional uh, design margins have been improved. Also, that wherever that redundancy is not there, now it's uh, put it. That way, we have more confidence on Chandrayaan 3 to be successful. Right. Uh, for just the layman, Mr. Sevan, if you could break it down for us, what exactly does Chandrayaan-3 aim to establish? While the rover lands on the moon, how long is that going to, a rover going to be there uh, conducting its experiment and expedition? And what exactly is it aiming to find? Uh, this uh, one it is uh, landing, it is, uh, it will be operating for 14 days, 14 years to day. It's equal mm -hmm. to one lunar day. And uh, during that time, that uh, we will do a lot of new scientific experiments. And uh, being landing near the South Pole region, we are expecting some new science is going to come as outcome. That way, uh, along with that, we in the India will be acquiring a new technology mm. for landing. So this is the type of advantages or uh, milestone we will be able to achieve. So, so if we, if we see, if we're really looking at uh, Chandrayaan-3 mission closely, then we're going to first of all find out if there could be any possible life on the moon. And even uh, in terms of further scientific study on planets, etc., uh, life apart from on Earth will be established, and this would be one of the bases for it. Yes, yes, yes. we are not looking for uh, any life existence and all, but at least a new finding should be... We are hoping that we will be getting a new findings because this is an unexplored region. Mm -hmm. So we may get something new than what we are understanding till now about the moon. That way it will be beneficial, this mission. Okay. So Chandrayaan 1 to Chandrayaan 3, could you give us a quick glimpse in, as to what the three moon missions of India have managed to uh, find? We know what happened with Chandrayaan 2. 1 and 3, if you can tell us, uh, g give us a quick sense of uh, what what uh, uh, Chandrayaan one intended to uh, what Chandrayaan one found and Chandrayaan three is intending to find now. So Chandrayaan one was actually a orbiter mission and uh, it found a new finding about the uh, water on the moon. There's a breakthrough finding by Chandrayaan one and uh, Chandrayaan two and Chandrayaan three. Their object is the same and uh, Chandrayaan three. Actually, it's going to land that unexplored regions of the South uh, South Pole region. That way, it's uh, something new findings is expected to come from this mission. Hmm. Right, Mr. Sivan, okay. uh, we have Pramod Madhav also joining us. Pramod, jump in. He's been tracking uh, the developments with ISTRO and Chandrayaan very closely. Pramod. Uh, Sandra, uh, Sivan, sir, congratulations. And uh, about this particular uh, mission, the lander alone is carrying four sensors. The, uh, uh, the rover is carrying two sensors. And uh, uh, like any particular reason, uh, we are interested about the seismic activity on the moon surface. And what sort of elements are we uh, trying to confirm that could be on the moon surface, sir? No, that is, uh, these all the instruments are uh, designed very carefully to find out that a new finding, if at all anything is there on the surface of the moon. So we are expecting that we are an unexplored region. We are expecting some new findings which is expected to come from this mission. Okay. 
Sivan, is it true that uh, it, the, now that the lander has separated from the rover, uh, even if the even if the engine fails or if the sensors fail, uh, it's likely to be a successful landing. It will land irrespective. No, I cannot say like that. Hmm. Yes, uh, to for a, any mission to be success, engine has to operate. Sensor has to fail. I mean, hmm. uh, uh, have to work. With the successful operation of the sensor and engine, only this thing will happen. Mm. And only thing is here that we are added redundancy. That uh, if one sensor is there is another sensor available. But uh, we cannot say that without the engine and without the sensor, the mission will be success. It's impossible. Mm. This one. Mm. That is, in, uh, you are uh, talking about the controllability and observability. So mm. our observability is not there, mission is not there. So the sensor has to be there. But only thing is we added the extra sensor so that we, in case one fails, something else will come and be help that way. We cannot say that if everything is failing, still mission success. It's not possible. Hmm. Okay. Sivan, sir, with the landing of Chandrayaan-3 and its success, how is it going to expand the research on space? How ISRO is going to go ahead with the research on the moon surface? And in the near future, what kind of more plans does ISRO have with the moon, sir? Sir, we have to wait and see. Yes, uh, we are going to an unexplored region. We do not know what are things available there. And by doing the science experiments only, we will understand what really have, uh, will be there. And the new things, it will be explored, I mean, discovered after that only. So we have to wait for this uh, experiment to happen. Okay. Sir, many, many countries are uh, trying to, uh, you know, uh, to, to land on the moon's surface. Russia in the latest are racing to land on the moon before us. Do you want to comment on that? No, that uh, Russian's mission is going on its own. Indian mission is on its own. We cannot compare to the two missions. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. definitely they will have their own objectives and we have our own objectives. That way only we can say. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening when data politics. No one is born Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening when data politics. No one is born Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV.